Welcome. So if you're here, you want to learn how to build backlinks, in specific, high quality backlinks. The goal is to get backlinks built to your site and in turn, it will make it rank higher in search engines. Now, link building is a complex topic, but I want to give you a step by step, easy to follow guide on how to exactly build these backlinks for free or even at a very affordable price. Now, keep in mind that link building is only one of the three pillars of the SEO realm. Now, SEO is a holistic marketing strategy. And so if you want to succeed in the SEO space, meaning if you want to rank your site high on Google or Bing, you need to tackle the three main pillars. That is on-page SEO, off-page SEO, and technical SEO, right? Here, we'll be focusing solely on off-page, i.e. link building. If you want training on on-page SEO and technical SEO, check this video description to find tutorials on those two. So without further ado, let's get it going. Let's get started. Let me show you how exactly you can build links without paying a single cent, making sure these links are of the utmost quality that if you can build just one or two, you can have the chance to outrank your competitors. So let's break it down. Right, we are here. And so the very first thing I want to show you before any tutorial is some results, right? Take a look at this one. This company went from round zero, essentially, to over 10,000 in monthly organic search traffic, mostly with link building. So we built nine links between August and September this year, a mix of guest posts and linking searches. Don't worry about this, I'll let you know, and I'll explain step by step what these are and why you should be building these exact type of links. Because there's a lot of types of links you can build out, in my opinion, and based on my data, this is the best type of links you can be building, okay? So traffic went from around 1K to 10K in just 30 days. This is the power of link building combined, of course, with on-page and uh, technical SEO. Here's another one down here, right? Zero to 6,000 in just a couple of weeks, right? This was uh, 46 links per month. I'll go over what this is, the R40, and I'll go over, uh, again, the types of links, but I just want to show you real quick the power of links in increasing the search traffic. Zero to 6,000 in monthly organic search traffic. Here's another one, bigger company, more established one, 10K to 16K again. You can pause the video here if you want to look at the, the results in a bit more detail. Uh, here's another one, 2X traffic in 90 days from here to here. Uh, five to six links, links per month, right, from February to June this year. Okay, so these are recent results, not years back, right? This is today, happening today. Uh, here's another one, 3K, 10K, a couple of weeks. Uh, and here's another one. This was um, a bit of an old, older one, uh, but from zero to two, 2K and 10K in MRR. Uh, and the results were so impressive. And SEM Rush commented saying impressive results because I mean, the amount of time it took for him to grow the traffic, right, was was insane, okay? And so this is the power of links. Here's a bunch more. You can pause the video if you want to look at these. Um, my goal here is just to show you as an intro that the link building actually works and not just years back, but it works right now, today, and companies and your competitors are using it today to rank their sites. And so with that said, let's move on to the types of backlinks you wanna build, because you can't achieve these results with just some regular backlinks. You need the most powerful backlinks. And so the types of links you wanna build are these two, guest posts and niche edits. So you might've heard about these ones, but guest posts are essentially links placed on new posts. Let's say, for example, I find this amazing website, super powerful, super relevant, right? Because these are the two main things you want with links, but I'll go over that in a second here. You want to be looking at power as well as relevancy, but either way, let's say you find this site. Again, I'll go over exactly how to find these sites, but let's say you find this site and you want to place a link on the site, right? A guest post is a link placed on a new post. So these guys, right, right here, this brand, will create a new post on their blog, on their marketing pages, and link out to your site, right? A link to your site. That's a guest post, a post as a guest. Now, a niche edit, it's similar, right? It's similar in the sense that the link also comes from a, a page on the site, but it's a link placed on an existing post. Now, they differ in the sense that a guest post is, again, a new page on the site. A niche edit comes from a page that's already been on the site for a long time. It's an age article, an aged page, page excuse me, and oftentimes already indexed in Google and sometimes even getting some traffic. So these are the differences between the two. They're similar again, but different at the same time. And this throughout the years, honestly, is the best combination that brings us the most results and all the stuff you see right here, this stuff, this stuff, all this is a combination of both niche edits, right? And, uh, and guest posts, right? The two most powerful types of links. Uh, if you wanna learn what other types of links there are, I'll leave a link down below in the description for a course teaching all this stuff in, in more detail. Uh, but again, with these two, you should be all set. Now, you might be wondering, 
what type of uh, anchor text should I be using, right? The anchor text is a little text you click, right, to go to the site. What should this be? Because it can be a lot of things, right? It can be all this, in fact, right? It can be, uh, let's say right here, an example, right? Let's say my site is this one, bakersbrotherspumbling.com, right? My main keyword would be Plumber Dallas. So this is your the main keyword, the keyword you want to rank for the most, right? Now, we have a lot of stuff. Right? We have branded anchors, we have naked link anchors, generic anchors, partial match, long tail, and exact match, right? These are all options that can exist here in your anchor text, right? Let's look at this example, for example, again, my branded anchor would be my company name, right? With capital letter or not, right? All capitals, all, all small, company name plus company, right? Brand names plus company, right? These are all branded anchors, right? Your brand name as a mention. Then we have naked link anchors. So this is literally our, just your URL, right? With the HTTPS or not, right? Link, naked link anchors. Then we have generic anchors, like click here, learn more, visit our site, see our services, so generic stuff, right? Then you have the partial match or long tail versions of your main keyword. So if your main keyword is Plumber Dallas, a partial match or a long tail version will be Plumber in Dallas. Best Plumber in Dallas, right? Number in Plumber Dallas, right? Plumbing company in Dallas. So variations of your main keyword, but a long tail version of that exact uh, anchor keyword, excuse me. And then of course your exact match, Plumber Dallas is your main one. Now again, all of these branded, naked, generic, partial, or exact, you can use here when, in, in your anchor text. But the trick here is to know, okay, when to use each ones. And this is what I do, right? This is my rule of thumb, right? I use branded anchors 70% of the time, right? Uh, it just just looks more natural, like because if you were if you were just building links manually, right, organically, right, most of your links will come from your brand name. Just how it works, right? Then naked URL, right? Then generic, right? Partial match, and only around one percent would be exact match anchors, right? Because the issue is if you flip this around, if you build most of your links with, uh, so if you build like exact match anchors around with seventy percent of, uh, sorry, if seventy percent of your links are built with exact match anchors, most likely you're gonna get penalized. So watch out for this again. You don't need to follow this like step by step, right, exactly these numbers, but use this as a rule of thumb, meaning that brand anchors, if you look, if you go to Ahrefs or any other tool who's used, sorry, if you go to backlinks, right, you should have your branded anchors be way, way um, uh, more than your exact match anchors or your partial match, okay? Again, this is just a rule of thumb, right? Now, when do I use each, right? Because you can use this, right, but you don't necessarily need to use them on niche edits and guest posts. You can use them on all the other types of links I mentioned before, right? Here's what I do, right? Here's where I use each again. If you want to learn how to build each of these unique types of links, because all these right here are different types of links, right? I've just spoken about the uh, niche edits and the guest posts, right? Right here. But if you want to learn how to build these ones, again, I'll leave a link down below in the description. I'll, I'll build all of these, okay? But just know that here's, uh, here's my breakdown, basically, on how you use anchors for each type of link. And essentially, if you look at this, is the less the anchor text has meaning, right? So the branded has less meaning than the exact match, right? I use them on the least powerful links. So for the exact match anchors, like the exact keyword, right? I use them on the big boy links, like PBN links, niche edits, and the, the most powerful links. And oftentimes also, I use guest posts right here, right? The point here is that if you are investing, because these links are more expensive, right, than just links from social media, these are basically links you can build for free, right? If you're investing this much time and money in building these make powerful links, right, you wanna make sure that you get the most bang for your buck, thus leveraging and using, right, your exact match and partial matches on these more expensive, more powerful links. Not to say you can't use your exact match on a social media link, I mean, you can, but it can be like a waste of time, right? Now, next up is the the structure, right? Right. How do I build it, this link building structure? Now, you don't just want to build links to your homepage, right? Most links should come to the homepage so it looks natural, right? Uh, but you also want to make sure you build links to your money pages, right? These are the pages that, let's say, for example, you have a service, right? A service business, right, is where people can call you to um, book, a, book an appointment or something. If you have a, um, an e-commerce or a physical product, right, it's where people can buy the product, right? Many pages are basically the opposite of blog posts, right? A blog post is a page where you're teaching the person something, and of course it links out to the money page to create this um, stack where eventually people get introduced to your brand via a blog post that ranks on Google, they click through it, they get introduced to the brand, they go to your money page and they buy something, right? But the money pages are basically like the CTA, the call to action pages. And you wanna be building backlinks to all these pages, to the home page, the money page, to the individual blog post page, and making sure these pages interlink between each other so that the link juice flows through. So that when you build backlinks to this blog post, it links to this money page, so the link, quote unquote, link juice flows through this page and then to the other one, okay? So don't just build links to the home page. Make sure most of them come to the home page, but make sure that you build links to all of your pages in a way that makes sense, of course, and link out the pages internally with a proper internal linking structure. Now this is more of an on-page um, 
training. I'll leave a link also for a course down below in the description, 100% for free, where you can build and where you can uh, teach new basic ladder structure, your internal linking structure, um, structuring and uh, and all the other on-page tips I have to give you. Because like I said in the beginning of the video, off-page, just link building won't be enough, right? If you just build links and these pages aren't properly interlinked, I mean, the results you'll see will be sub sub par, and you'll never be able to see results like like this, right? Like uh, zero to 10K in uh, just 30 days, right? And so moving on down here again um, to the actual part of how we build these actual links, right? Because this is what really matters the most, but again, of course, I have to give you context before. So how do you build these links? And by the way, again, I'll leave a link uh, for our school group, which has all of these courses inside, right? It has a backlinking course, so it's basically this video, but a bit more in-depth, more step-by-step -step with actual tangible examples, so watch this, very important, 100% for free, right? It has our AI SEO course, e-commerce SEO, video SEO, so how we rank videos on YouTube, very important as well. Local SEO, how to rank local business on Google Maps, super important. Uh, basically an A to Z uh, AI course, uh, sorry, SEO course, no AI, so if you're a bit more, uh, uh, don't, basically don't want, use, don't want to use AI for SEO. I teach you the old ways of doing SEO uh, right here. And this one, very, very nice course, uh, how to do rank and rent, uh, how I started in SEO. Basically, I was doing rank and rent, so ranking sites and renting out for clients. So very, very nice uh, um, video right here with a plugin, a rank and rent WordPress plugin you get for free just by joining and getting the course. Um, so yeah, how do you actually build these links? So the very first step, of course, is you choose the URL on your site you want to build links for. Right. Usually what you do is you go to Ahrefs or any other tool, right? You look at your top pages. You look at the pages that are getting the most traffic. And the reason why you choose the pages that are getting the most traffic is because they are the pages with the higher opportunity or the highest opportunity. Ideally, these pages will be pages that have, there are money pages, right? Because it's, it tends to be more valuable to rank a money page than a blog post page, simply because the traffic coming into the money pages converts at a much higher rate, okay? Because money pages not only tend to rank for more high buying intent keywords than blog post pages, and also because the many pages are built in a way that the call to action is a bit more prominent. Hopefully this is making sense. If you wanna learn a bit more on how buying intent on keyword research works, watch this course right here and this one right here, which I teach you in depth how this works and the concept, concept behind all this stuff. Then choose the anchor text, right? Apply what I explained on here, right? Apply this, again, as a rule of thumb, you don't need to follow this by the step by step, right? But just apply this as a rule of thumb, okay? Choose the anchor text, look at your current backlinks, see what you, how, how you're navigate, navigating, sorry, this uh, this structure right here and try and apply it as best as you can. Um, then comes the fun part, finding relevant sites with great metrics that we want links from. Now, it's very important. I highlighted here relevant and metrics for two reasons. Firstly, relevant is if your site is about, let's say you sell water bottles, right? If you sell water bottles, you want links coming into your site from other relevant sources about water bottles, right? You don't want links from uh, dog-based sites or, 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 or uh, cars or motorcycles or paintings, right? You want relevance. You want, a, you want a link, right? If your site sells water bottles, right? You want as many links from water bottle-related um, avenues, right? Whether that's Wikipedia or this blog that just talks about water or this governmental agency that talks about water, right? Or this one that talks about bottles, right? You don't want links from guys selling cars or sites selling dogs uh, or, or selling paintings because, yeah, these can be powerful, but they're not relevant, right? And you want to have a mix of relevancy, right, as well as great metrics, right? So the best backlink you can have is one that's both powerful, right? Powerful coming from the metrics and relevant coming from the relevancy. So try and find a mix of both. Now this all always this oftentimes this is not possible, right? You don't have to, you're gonna have to either choose power over relevancy or relevancy over power. But when you whenever you can, right, try and find a link that's both powerful and relevant. That's the single biggest thing. Now, how do you find these sites? Well, the very first thing you can do is just go to address or any other tool and paste your competitor's URL here. Go out. Type your keywords on Google. So to go to Google, right, type in your keywords, right, and see the top 10 sites who are ranking for your keywords, right? Because those are your competitors, right? Those, are rank those guys are ranking for the keywords you want to rank for. Take those 10 sites, paste them here, go to the backlinks right here, click backlinks, and see their backlinks, right? See the sites they're ranking for, they have links from, right? Make a list, use Google Sheets, use Excel, make a list, right, and look at all these sites. Then filter through and see, okay, out of all these sites, which ones are actually relevant and which ones have great metrics. Ideally, you'll be looking at a DR, a domain rating of at least, at least 20, bare minimum. Anything below that, 
isn't really like a, a very good site. So look at this and search for the DR metric right here, DR40, domain rating, okay? Anything below that, I mean, not really good. Now, if you can find relevancy and great metrics, then go for those links. And when I say go for those links, you simply do this, right? You go to the site, email the site owner asking if they accept payment for backlinks, right? Then ask them what their processes are, right? Literally just ask, email them, hey, I noticed you have a link, you link out to this guy, right? Uh, how much do you charge for a link placement? How much do you charge per guest post, per niche edit, right? Ask them, get a conversation going, right? And pay them to do it, do that, basically. Wait for confirmation, payment, and wait for it to be live. That's basically it, right? It's nailing, nailing, nailing down this super quick, it's basically it, right? Again, if you want a bit more of a step-by-step, -step, showing you the actual emails, showing me actually finding the sites, watch this, right? I don't, I, don't, I don't have to record this again because it's already recorded in our school group. It's literally a step-by-step -step going over how to find these sites. Because you can use Ahrefs, right? It is a paid tool. Uh, you can also use free tools. Uh, just literally just use Google to find these sites. But I recommend if you're, if you're investing in SEO, if you want to take SEO to serious, just use Ahrefs. It's $100 a month. It is 100% worth it. Solely because you can spy on your competitors' links. You can just literally steal your competitors' backlinks and reach out to those sites. Because if your competitors are having, have all these backlinks, right, you know that you can have them too. Whether they're paid for them or not, right, if these sites are linking out to your competitors, there's no reason why they can't link out to you. So you just gotta ask how much or what the processes are. And that's basically an overhead view of all this, right? Again, more in-depth stuff, join the school group, you get access to my step-by-step -step stuff for link building, as well as all these other courses. So go watch those. And again, I urge you to look at these results and build your links, because this, literally, this can be you. This can be your site. This can be your site. This can be your site. All of these two X and nine days, these, these can be your sites. Again, no, don't neglect on page and technical SEO. If you are, you just, all this would just won't matter. So if you don't want to neglect on page and technical SEO, watch this one that goes about over uh, on page and technical SEO if you're using AI. And this one, if you don't want to use AI, watch this one, right? That's it. That's the video. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.